One of the major benefits of the system of Marja'iyah is that it gives the Shi'i community order, unity, and structure. Although we follow different maraja, the system of Marja'iyah helps create a strong, cohesive, and united community based on the harmonious coordination between the senior scholars. In addition to providing guidance on common religious practices, the maraja also deliver verdicts on contemporary societal issues by issuing their informed religious rulings, fatawa, on a wide variety of topics. Example 1. Usage of the internet and social media and other related topics such as What are the rulings on copyrights and registering inventions and patents? Can external property rights be extended to intellectual property as well? Example number two, in the field of medical issues, there are burning topics such as organ harvesting and donation from living and also from the deceased. Surrogacy, what is the status of the child when it comes to inheritance and issues of family relationships? Gender change surgery, what is the status of this new person when it comes to issues such as marriage? Example 3. In the field of acts of worship, our scholars give rulings on topics like praying and fasting on the North and South Pole. If a person travels west after praying Dhuhr and arrives in another country before Dhuhr of that new country, what do they do? Do they pray again? Fasting while having an intravenous feed. Example 4. When it comes to issues in finance and economy, we see rulings being derived on topics such as riba-free banking, that is, interest-free banking, dealing with currency notes versus the older standard of gold and silver coins. Is purchasing insurance, whether it be life insurance, vehicle, home, travel, etc., are they valid and are there any conditions attached to such policies? Example 5. And last but not least, when it comes to societal issues, the Maraja are tackling topics such as Is it permissible to solemnize a marriage contract through the internet or over the phone? Conversely, can an Islamic divorce, a talaq, also be conducted over the internet or phone? Or must it be done in person? What is the ruling on mass mechanical slaughtering of animals versus the traditional hand slaughter? And many more areas which affect our everyday lives in all fields of life. Most of these issues were not discussed by the scholars of the past as they had not even arisen in their time. However, as these are a part and parcel of our daily lives, they are being discussed in the scholarly circles of Qum, Najaf, and beyond. Our Maraja also research and write books on areas outside the field of Islamic jurisprudence, some of which are translated and available in other languages, including English. For example, Commentary of the Qur'an, various tafasir, both sequential and also the thematic commentary on the Qur'an, by Ayatollah Nasser Makarim Shirazi, research on the 12th Imam, the three-volume encyclopedia of Hadith by Ayatollah Lutfullah Safi Gulpaygani, Islamic scholastic theology, detailed works on traditional and contemporary topics such as religious pluralism and apostasy by Ayatollah Jafar Subhani. Books on these and many other topics further enhance our understanding of Islam and assist us in our spiritual and intellectual development. When it comes to social, economic, and political involvement, our grand scholars also provide expert guidance which safeguards the overall state of our communities. This guidance is not only for the people in the countries in which the Maraja live, but also for the believers living in other places around the world. Some examples of their involvement in this area include the famous tobacco verdict of 1892 issued by the late Ayatollah Mirza Shirazi, which forced the government of Iran to cancel the concessions it had given on tobacco to the British government. The crucial role played by Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Sistani from the time of the Iraq invasion in 2003 until today. And when commenting on the aftermath of the downfall of the former Iraqi regime, the well-known author Noah Feldman wrote the following, Shia Islamist parties suffered internal rivalries and disagreements, but managed to present a unified front at the national level. Their unity to date is a considerable achievement largely attributed to Sistani's leadership. The cohesive stand of the Marja'i of Najaf in working to unite all Iraqis regardless of their background and their protection of the Yazidis, Christians, and other minorities during the tyranny of ISIS, uniting the Sunni and the Shia after the multiple takfiri explosions of the al Askari Ain shrine in Samarra and the explicit prohibition of any form of retaliation, providing guidance on political engagement and social interaction to the Shia living in countries where they are a minority. These 
and many more examples highlight the vital role these senior scholars play on a global level.